Hey everyone, welcome back to the uh, channel, Peace Street Garage. And what I wanna do today, or I should say this evening, is uh, I wanna take these wheels off, my 62 Comet. And uh, there's overspray on the tires and rims. These are rims that I had sandblasted about uh, two and a half, three years ago. I had painted them in uh, either aluminum or chrome paint. I don't really remember. I wanna pop these off and uh, I want to clean this up a little bit, uh, get some of that overspray off, and try to make them look a little bit better. Okay, well, let's make this look a little bit better. Well, that looks better already. So I got my uh, wheels and rims inside, and the uh, plan is to get these cleaned up. Also going to clean up all this rubber from the overspray and the overspray. There's primer on here. There's yellow paint. And then my plan is to recoat these wheels. And I'm going to be using this gloss aluminum. So I've done uh, I've done rims in the past with the chrome spray paint, which never really looks like chrome. But uh, so this time here, I'm going to give this gloss aluminum a try from Tremclad and if all goes well I can come back with the uh, gloss clear and I'm going to put a coat of clear on top so let's see how this goes My rims all cleaned up. Uh, I'm gonna get them ready for paint. Now these are real aluminum rims, as in they could be polished to a shine, but because of these rivets, uh, it makes it almost impossible to get around to do a good job. So if it wasn't for these rivets, I would uh, hand polish them. But it's gonna be the old uh, rattle can delight. I'm gonna do this again. Aluminum. Let's uh, get set up and uh, give this a spray. Let's throw a coat on here. Uh, well, not horrible. The aluminum is actually almost shinier than what they call chrome. Now, uh, I got to be careful here because I don't want runs and I don't want anything to go wrinkled. Ask me how I know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, really shows off the imperfections anyway. By putting it on too thick now, maybe. Hard to say. Well, this is a bit of a trial, so I'm gonna go fairly heavy. 
and walk away. All right, done for this one. Alrighty, well there's the both of them done. They both got one thick coat. Gonna walk away, let this cure up, and uh, we'll try some clear tomorrow. See if we can ruin it. It's the next morning, and uh, let's try some clear. Again, going with the trim clad. Hopefully the uh, two paints will be compatible and there'll be no issues. I think what I'm going to do is just one fairly heavy coat. I've done this before where the uh, the clear completely made everything wrinkle. So far, it's looking okay, but it's not really looking any shinier than the other one over there. In fact, this one, the one with without clear looks shinier. Anyway, we're committed now. Okay, I don't see a run yet, that's kind of weird. It almost seems like this clear is really soaking in. But I think the finish on this one was a little bit more coarse for some reason. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop. Cleared. Without clear, <laughs> the without clear looks way flipping better. Kind of weird, or shinier anyway. Hi, right, moving on. So there's my wheel. Let's get it back on the car. See what it looks like. Now let's do the front. Alrighty, well these are my front wheels and uh, they're ready for clear. Now this wheel here has got a, quite a few dings and notches. A couple of the rivets there have been, have been flattened. I'm not sure what happened there. That was long before my time. Anyway, let's give this a coat of clear and uh, get them back on the car. Again, I'm just going to put on one fairly thick coat, and uh, I don't know if it's just me, but, well, no, it's not. The uh, gloss clear makes this aluminum paint less shiny. Like, that aluminum paint uh, is shiny, and once I put the clear on, 
uh, it's less shiny. I guess it does kind of look like aluminum, so uh, I'll go with that. All right, let's get that second one done and uh, we'll take a peek. All right, well, uh, here we are with the clear coat applied. Again, I've used the uh, trim clad aluminum paint with the trim clad gloss clear. And uh, I think they're certainly presentable. As far as uh, durability goes, well, kind of is what it is. It's a rattle can product. This is a summer car and uh, it will be living most of its life uh, in the garage. So, all right, let's get these on the car and uh, let's see what this all looks like. Okay, that's a beautiful morning. I, uh, I've got the uh, front rims all finished up here. I think this is gonna work for what I'm doing. I just got the uh, the drum and the little cap all painted up in black. So uh, let's finish this up. Okay, well there's my finished look. That's the next day. Not bad. It's it's not horrible at all, really. Um, I can certainly live with that. I mean, when you're talking. Uh, $13 aluminum paint, $13 can of clear. Um, yeah, certainly budget friendly. And I got my little centers painted in black and uh, it's certainly an improvement. I still got to scrub on the rubber a little bit more. <laughs> 